Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make fried croaker fish with this delicious sauce that goes perfectly with it. For ingredients, we have some fish stock powder. It really gives it an in-depth fishy flavor and I like to use it for fish recipes. I also have curry powder because I feel curry powder and fish, they go so, so well together, makes it very fragrant. And then we have some salt to season. I have already blended tomato, onion, and pepper mixture. I've already boiled it down. It's something I always have in the fridge, so I brought a little bit out. And then here, we have some onion that I have already chopped. We have bell peppers, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and some scotch bonnet. And then we also have some spring onion. I love the flavor. And then we have some croaker fish. We have two croaker fishes. I'm going to show you how to make this. You will love it. In a pan, I'm going to put some vegetable oil and I'm just going to add the onion and fry just a bit. I believe I've shared this sauce, a similar sauce like this on this channel previously. You can go and take a look back and you'll find it somewhere. But it's really, really simple and it cooks very fast. Once the onion has softened, I'm going to add the bell peppers, that is the green bell pepper and also the red bell pepper and the mixture or the combination of both is really really yummy. I'm going to add the peppers as well. They've been chopped and they make it very fragrant. This is like not the regular pepper. It's a particular kind of pepper that they call habanero in Lagos. And then we have the curry powder, we have the um, fish stock powder and then the salt and it's great to always season your vegetables you guys because it makes it taste really really good. I'm going to add a bit of that tomato pepper mixture and just make a nice sauce of it. You can use just the bell peppers but adding the tomato puree or the tomato mixture is just going to bind everything together. Cook for about 5 to 7 minutes and it's ready. Do not overcook it so that you can still have the pop of color and all your vegetables don't get wilted. This is the fish I'll be using for this recipe. It is croaker fish. I typically like tilapia fish, but I couldn't find any, so we're using croaker fish today. And I don't know, do I have any croaker fish recipe on my channel? A couple. <laughs> so I'm just going to slice this fish like this so that when we season, it can really get into it. And I'll do the same on both sides. Fish is one of my favorite things to eat, but I don't eat it as often as I should. If you want more fish recipes, I have them on my channel. Just type CCME fish recipe. you probably see a couple of them. And if you need more recipes, you can check out my cookbook. It is going to be linked in the description box. You can also check out my food timetable that I have. It will give you an idea of meals that you can have if you are running out of meal ideas. Now I have my fish stock powder and like I said, I really like this stock powder because it adds a lot of flavor to your fish meals. So I'm just going to massage it gently into the fish. You have to be careful because you know fishes have bones and you can just really pierce your skin. So you have to be careful while rubbing the marinade. Also like to add a bit of salt just a bit mm -hmm. 
so i have this large pan for this fish it's a very very big pan you guys humongous <laughs> but i typically like to use non-stick pan for frying fish just to be safe but i have a hack that i'm going to show you that i do i'm also going to show you how i season my oil to get the most out of my fish so i add a bulb of onion preferably a small onion and I'm going to add the pepper two of them this is the very fragrant pepper I was telling you about it's not the typical pepper if you find typical pepper then you can use that as well but it adds so much flavor to the oil I'm also using spring onion and you guys the combination of these three in the oil is just amazing now i've just added the fish i'm going to add the second one and the thing about frying fish you guys is once you put it in the pan do not disturb it especially if you're using like a stainless steel pan or a non non-stick pan so like i said i prefer a non-stick pan for fish and i actually prefer to grill than to fry <laughs> it's just because i wanted a different recipe today so i wanted to show you guys what i was doing i'm going to add a couple more pepper an extra spring onion just to add more flavor and I'm going to show you the hack that I use to make sure that my fish does not scatter what I use is flour which is like the flour that you use for baking cakes baking anything and you're just going to add that flour to the fish ideally you should put it before you put your fish but i'm just going to put it at this moment so that you can see and it will help your fish stay firm make sure you do not flip the fish over until it is ready to be flipped if not you are going to have a mess and speaking of a mess we are using our new kitchen today using our new cooker and i was not happy to mess it up <laughs> i was not happy that i was baptizing it with fish oil but it is what it is it is here to do the cooking and that's what we're doing if you're looking forward to the kitchen tour like me please click the like button so that i know so that i can see your ginger The fish is ready now and I'm just going to transfer it to a plate and then I'm going to garnish it with the pepper mixture that we made earlier and this is what it looks like I was craving gari like soaking gari ijebu gari basically <laughs> and this is what I had for lunch I hope you guys like this recipe you will love it when you try it <laughs> just tag me when you try it I'll see you in my next video bye